Importing contacts into Plan Plus Online. So once you have your account, one of the main things that you're going to want to do is get the data imported. And we have the ability to import from a lot of different sources, whether it be Outlook or a Salesforce account or other database that you were using in the past. What you want to do is you want to come to the Account tab and come to Import Export. And the most popular option here is going to be the Contact CSV Import. So you can see here we also have an organization CSV import. That's the other most popular one. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you first the contact CSV import. And then I'll also show you the ability to import the organization the con and the contacts at the same time and relate the two together. But before we import, what we want to do is have a CSV file or comma separated values. Here I just have an example file that we've put together. First name, last name, email address. And I also have a classification field. Now this field is, is a really important field that you want to import in order to organize your contacts into different buckets. And um, I just have called it classification because that's what we call it inside of Plan Plus Online. But other accounts may call it category or type. And we'll, all we really need to do is come up here and save as. And you want to choose save as CSV file for the system to be able to read the file. Once you have your CSV file saved, we'll come back to the Plan Plus Online account. We'll come to the, we come into the contact CSV import. We choose our file, and I've just uploaded the admin contacts, and you can see it's a .csv. And then you have an import session here that you will then be able to search in the future to mass delete your import or mass update these records. And you can actually rename this to anything that you want. And then what this is going to do when it imports, it's going to look for duplications in the name so that it will merge the records together. Here we have our mapping page where we have a CSV header name. This is the name in our Excel spreadsheet and we want to map it to the appropriate field in Plan Plus Online. And you'll see here that the first name and the last name are required fields in order to import a contact record. So make sure you have those in two separate columns. And as you go through and map these records, you have the ability to map pretty much to any type of field that we have built for you. Or you can see down here towards the bottom, you do have custom fields that you can create and import custom information to. Now that I've mapped all of my fields, this is what it would look like here. And you can see I've mapped classification to the classification field. And I want to point out that you can import contact notes. We do have a separate video on that. But you can see here that as long as you have a note title, you can import the note title and the note content into the Plan Plus system. You can see there's a lot of other fields that you're able to import here. And if you're going to be doing multiple imports, you can actually save these mappings to save you time. I'm going to go ahead and skip that step and say Submit. This is the confirmation screen that's showing me what data it's importing. And it's going to look for any duplicates, and it'll let us know if it found any duplicates and merge the information together. And then once I've submitted that page, this is our import history page, and it's going to show us that the status is finished. And just to verify, I can come back to the contact summary page, and we'll see that my contacts have now been imported.